my name is Mariah Hunter, and it is officially 18 days until the second annual 36 hour streaming live event and extravaganza that is all about healing through connections. I am the executive director and co-founder of a 501c3 nonprofit that is absolutely dedicated to eradicate the feeling of isolation while facing cancer. We are putting on a show that is going to be the show of all shows. Uh, I am so excited about it. Good morning or good afternoon. We have Carol Brown, who is one of our ambassadors and co-producers of the event of which I am talking about. So glad that you're here. Yes, this is a fundraiser. That is what we, it is. And I'm going to be talking about that today. So good morning and thank you for the donations. In fact, I will say that we just recently received a letter, a card saying, and it says thank you here. And it is from some of the people from Canada it had their donations in it. So I want to say thank you also to those that donated. We have good stuff coming up. A real big show, as they used to say at one time. Good morning, Helene, one of my chemo buddies uh, for life. She is absolutely an incredible, I, I can't even tell you, all of the um, uh, talent that this girl has, this woman has, uh, she has been, uh, in fact, in just a moment, I'm going to be sharing something if I can. I'm trying to get the image. I might not be able to share it today. Oh, no, I'm going to be able to. I'm so excited. Uh, we have an artist. We have a writer in our midst. In fact, let me just get it up right now. And so that you guys can see what it is that our buddies are doing. This is from Helene, let me go to it. Helene, there you go. Helene created this 3D image because yesterday I spoke about color and the cancer colors and the color that we picked of the purple. And look what she did. She translated it into a 3D image, healing through art. I am just absolutely blown away by that, uh, Helene. And yes, thank you. Hashtag alive. I want to say thank you for that image. And I have already asked permission. We are going to, on our new blog, we're going to include the image and some of her writing together. I'm so excited about it because, you know, we are a community. That is what we are all about. We are building a buddies network. We're going to talk about that. We are building it throughout the world. One buddy at a time. And that's important to understand. A global network of buddies. One person holding a hand, if you will, with another person throughout the world. How can I be so clear on this vision? Well, let me tell you, sometimes I wonder, but I am. And anybody that's working with me knows it. Well, you. thank you, I guess. You're welcome, too. <laughs> I love it, I love it. We are building a worldwide network that is based on the simplicity of how important one is, and then another one, and then another one. And so that we are all joining together to take the scary out of cancer and kick it to the curb. We are taking the power back, and we are doing that through the healing of connection. 
connection. It's huge. And for too long, I think it's been overlooked. There, are, Social media is what's allowing this. Let's be honest, guys. Had this been a concept back in the 1940s, the 1950s, the 1960s, I could keep going. This would be a really, really wonderful idea. But how would we go about it? It took until now for the technology to be as it is so that we can affect the world through the internet here because it has been proven that our mind will recall the discussion however it will have a hard time recalling if it was face to face in person or face to face over a digital platform so you see we can affect each other we can help each other we can heal through connections through the world wide web it's that easy and yet it's not we are though determined to impact the world one buddy at a time so we are having a 36 hour event on giving tuesday it is starting on cyber monday which is december the 2nd and it will be continuing for a full 36 hours live streaming live throughout the world and today we're going to talk about how fun it's going to be i'm going to start by doing this i'm going to highlight today's volunteer she is actually a volunteer for the day of many people will recognize um megan fenyo she is the founder of i am enough movement and she and i have met in fact the very first time we ever got to see each other and this is a full circle effect guys the first time we got to see each other face to face i was interviewing i was the reporter on the red carpet one of the reporters at an academy award after party yes that's when i got to um interview many people including uh wesley snipes and it was the very first time that i had gotten to meet megan in person we immediately cut you know connected because our movements are so intertwined and I interviewed her. I've interviewed her now a few times on the red carpet. She is going to be a reporter on the street in San Diego during the event. During the day, we're going to have her over near the beach and she's going to ask questions and she's going to be the reporter on the street with her microphone and her setup, her gear, of which, yes. She has the same gear I have. <laughs> everything down to everything. Because I took pictures and she 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 ordered the gear. So she's ready to go. She is going to be on the street in San Diego. And I want to thank her for joining us in our movement. We have more volunteers that will be reporting on the street. We have Teresa Snyder. Many know her. She was best dressed during the next impactor. She is going to be a reporter on the street in Texas. And yes, we had the same mics because we got them the same day. <laughs> Are you getting the theme going on, guys? Yes. And we now have a new reporter on the street, new to us. He's a volunteer too. He's been highlighted. We have Stephen Smith. Stephen Smith's going to be a reporter at an event in Florida, Sarasota, Florida. So we have San Diego, we have Texas, we have Florida. Let's continue. We have Barbara Beckley. Barbara Beckley is in Chicago. She is going to be a reporter on the street. We have Misty Lane. Misty Lane is going to be a reporter, I believe, on the radio representing us. She is also our board vice president of the executive board. 
vice president of our executive board. She will be re representing us. Let's continue. We have Lauren Harris. Many recognize this man. He is a top speaker. He has a viral um, uh, video out there that's, I believe, gotten now into the millions. I don't want to overstate, however. A singer, a recording artist. Yes, one of the founders of the program that I won. And he will be hosting a live event in Chicago at a comedy club featuring some of our volunteers and friends that will be uh, an open mic situation entertaining us live during the event. And I believe we will most likely have our Renee Reich. I know that she is a volunteer that's helping us with our editing, believe it or not, but many know her because she is one of the top uh, red carpet interviewers throughout San or Southern California, particularly known for the uh, swanky events in the Beverly Hills, Hollywood area. And I have a feeling she'll be helping with us too. So I wanted people to understand that, that I'm going to start highlighting a, a feel. I'm not going to give it all away, guys. You got to show up. And you need to understand that this is a fundraiser because we are preparing to go global. And to do that, we need funds. We are, we have gotten to this point with volunteers. However, now that we're building and we have people coming, it's time for us to have the programs. And think of it this way. I was, I've been busy this morning uh, getting people ready and uh, we've got Aaron here. Good to see you. I'm glad you're laughing. Love it. Love it. Uh, yes, daily dose of laughter around here. It's 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 a necessity. We remind each other every day. Have you had your daily dose of laughter? If not, go out and find it. Life is too short, and you gotta have fun. And so we do here at the Buddies Network. We believe in fun. We believe in healing through connections. We believe in healing through humor, hope, and heart. We are going to be having segments on healing through comedy, music, art, nature, health and wellness, inspiring stories, hobbies, so much. We are dedicated to eradicate the isolation for those that are facing a six letter word that has had too much power, we are kicking that power to the curb and saying, mm -mm, no more. We're in town. The buddies have arrived. Someone said that was an elementary school kind of a name at one point. You know, I'm okay with that because cancer is a slippery sucker, as my oncology surgeon says. She does. She's funny. I love people with humor. She's like, yeah, they're slippery suckers, those cells, yet we can beat them. I agree with you. And that's exactly what we're doing. We need you to engage. It's time. I've been working on this for a while. A lot of people know that. My friends have been wonderful, supportive, cheerleaders saying, go, girl, go. Now it's time to step up and help with your wallets too. Because think of it this way. I was explaining it to a particular type of a, let's say, service industry. I won't give it away right now. Talking about how I want to have a representative that has been has been talking to me and wants to get the message out there I want to get the permission for them to be able to be on site to have their 
industry represented and to be able to talk clearly about the fact that cancer is something that they deal with. It happens. There's a lot of industries that are out there, unfortunately, guys. Think of a community where, let's say you're, I live in Southern California, let's say you're in Long Beach, let's say you're near the docks, you're a dock worker, and you've been diagnosed with cancer. There might be some dock worker support groups but you have to drive there. You got to go there. You got to go through treatment. You got to try to keep your job. Try, try to keep your insurance. It can be overwhelming. What if there is a group in a community that's online? And you can go to that group. And you can meet others from that group. Others that you can talk to. And let's say... There's the group for the patient, and there's the group for the family member. And they meet at different times, yes, using the digital platforms. So they can be on their phone, they can be driving, they can be, as long as it's hand-free, yes. They can be in their bed with their jammies on. And if they're like me and they have no voice, they can participate by listening. You get where I'm going. You see what I'm seeing. You, yes, I explain it like a matching site comes to the cancer world. World, we have that too. But when you start drilling it down, how will the, how will we support? How will we support throughout the community? Because that's what we're building a movement, a community, the possibilities are endless. We will be huge. However, to build anything, it requires funds. That's the way the world works. So we are out here and go to Instagram, go Go and, you know, go and look, go back to these shows. Look at the quality of the people that have come to volunteer their time. And if we were to add up each person's time in a week, we figured it out. Many people are volunteering almost another full-time job worth of hours because they see it and they believe it. Because this is real. We're building it. We need you. Our goal is huge for us because this is a second annual. Next year, it's going to be huge. And we are going to own Giving Tuesday. There's no doubt in any of our minds. It's going to be ours. Get involved with us now. We want to help your business to be successful Thus, your business is going to, in turn, help our community serve those that need it, need it, need this platform. So let's do this. We have a lot of fun. Anybody that shows up knows that. And I'm seeing some really awesome relationships starting within the volunteers. I have a feeling that there's going to be business ventures going forward. I want that. Isn't it time, if you will, for the little guy to succeed, for the big guy to succeed, for it to be a fair and even playing field? Yeah, it is. And that's what we are creating. We are creating a community for us, for the buddies for those affected by cancer. And that, in the end, is truly everyone in the world. It's just a matter if they wanna be a part of our, our community. That's our avatar. Anytime I go anywhere and they ask, what is it? Who is it? How do you say, everyone? <laughs> That's what it is. 
yet we don't have to be overwhelmed because we bring it down to the one. It's all about the one, the one in the night, the one that has heard three words no one wants to hear, too many are, you have cancer. I know, I know, you all know my story, most of you. Five people, four generations, all through one line, one of which myself, my grandfather and my mother both passed, my brother, my only sibling, myself and my daughter, all. My brother, myself and my daughter, all alive, thank goodness. Warrior champions, conquerors. You can be too. This is only a moment in time. Doesn't have to define you. And by becoming a buddy, something as simple as a friend, a buddy, and being a part of a community, a home that you can access from anywhere. All you need is your smartphone. It's time. Donate today. Our goal, one of our coaches doesn't like that word. He wants us to say a massive, important outcome. Our Mio, massive, important outcome, is $50,000. I'm still looking for someone to match that. So we can do this. Go to cb4l.org. We have a long way to go, yet we have 18 days until the event. That's till Giving Tuesday. I'm starting at 12 early, hours early. And I am bound and determined to meet this goal when we go live. 36 hours that we are giving, we're giving to all of you out of the goodness and the passion of our hearts to entertain, inspire, and educate. All we're asking for you to do is to share our movement. And so our buddies come home. We want them to come home. We want them to join the community. And we want to be able to support them and help ease their suffering. And we need to raise the funds. So go donate today, go donate often. And if you have a business and want to become a sponsor, a one-time sponsor or an ambassador, which is a long-term situation, we wanna to talk to you because we know we will be able to support you and help your business to flourish. And in doing so, we all win, in particular, the one. So let's do this. Join us. Join a movement that matters. Help us to create a home that is safe and full of humor, hope, and heart. And if we need to let go of someone, it's their time to gain their wings. Let us help them to find the peace that they are looking for. We've done that too. We have. And we'll be sharing some of those stories. Go to the website, cb4l.org. I want to thank our volunteers for creating it. It is still a work in progress, but I am so proud of it. Thank you, everyone that is making this happen. And together, we are making a difference. Two o'clock today, Pacific time, five o'clock Eastern. Come back and on the Service Hero Show, I will be featuring and having as today's guest number four in the top five of the next glo the global next impactor, Christopher Kaysen. He is one of our volunteers and he's helping us with healing through art. You do not want to miss the show. See you later. Remember two things, donate 
and find your laughter. Have you had your daily dose of laughter today? If not, go out and find it.